discover how the Maryland Stem Cell Research Fund is accelerating cures. Hello, my name is Erin Lovick. I am a professor and associate dean at the University of Maryland, Baltimore County. The CDC estimates that one in 54 children is diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder or ASD. Autism spectrum disorder is thought to involve a number of differences in the connections between neurons in the brain, as well as the behavior of neural stem cells, the cells that become neurons in the brain. With the advent of induced pluripotent stem cells in 2006, for the first time, we can begin to understand the differences in the brains of people with autism spectrum disorder and those without. To do this, though, we need to be able to build relevant structures and networks of the brain. Our lab looks at building models of tissue and organs like the brain. The first part of our work focuses on tissue, the models that combine neural stem cells and blood vessels to build what we call a neural stem cell niche. Throughout one's life, the neural stem cells lead to the birth of new neurons. Normally, these neurons migrate to one's nose in a place called the olfactory bulb to help one smell. But in some conditions, the proliferation of stem cells, their differentiation into mature neurons, or their migration is altered. We are working to develop models of neurotypical tissue to replicate the way stem cells proliferate, differentiate, and migrate in the brain in a dish as a starting point. We combine stem cells with polymers that model the matrix that supports the cells. These polymers are like jello, and we use a process of screen printing to create patterns of these gels and cells to build the models that replicate the three dimensional structures of the brain. This process is very much like the screen printing that is used to print t shirts. It is easy to do and low cost, which makes it possible for lots of different labs to be able to afford to do this kind of work. As part of our research, we look at the molecular components of the matrix or gel and how this influences the cell behavior. There has been interesting work looking at the differences in neural stem cells in people with autism spectrum disorder. We want to see if we can build a model that helps to understand these differences and how they may relate to ASD. Building these models has applications that extend beyond ASD. If we can build models of parts of the human brain in a straightforward and affordable manner, we will have a platform that can be used to screen drugs for diseases or understand how toxins affect the brain. The Maryland Stem Cell Research Fund has been instrumental in our work. They have provided the support to allow us to develop the materials and approaches to build these structures with human-induced pluripotent stem cells. We are now in the process of studying these structures and understanding how changes to signaling molecules and the matrix impact the cells and organization and behavior of the tissues. This work provides the foundation for developing new models of neural tissue to better understand conditions like autism spectrum disorder and the brain more broadly. Accelerating today's stem cell research into tomorrow's cures.